All right, today I announce that the death of a seven-year-old boy in February 2022 is being investigated as part of Task Force Prime. Task Force Prime is now investigating two child deaths, the death of Charlie in July 2022, and now a seven-year-old boy named Namakai. I'd ask you to respect the fact there's some things I can't tell you today um, because I don't want to compromise the investigation, and secondly, I don't want to contribute to or traumatise Mackay's other siblings. On the 10th of February 2022, Mackay was taken by his dad to the Lyle McEwen Hospital um, and was very sick. He was later transferred on to the Women and Children's Hospital um, and sadly passed away later that day. In the following days, a post-mortem was conducted on Mackay and several serious health issues were identified, but in themselves, not necessarily cause for immediate concern. The provisional cause of death, although it was unusual because you don't expect children to die, <laughs> that's our starting position, um, but it was not, as I say, cause for immediate concern. Initially, Mackay's death was investigated as would normally happen by Northern District's detectives as a coronial investigation and in accordance with existing coronial procedures. As with any investigation, you don't know everything at the start, and as the investigation progressed, it became necessary to seek further information from other authorities um, and to consult with other people. Those consul consultations included the coronial investigation section and the office of the state coroner, um, who were spoken to about various aspects of the case. About 10 days after Mackay's death, a coronial direction was obtained to obtain all the documentary evidence and information being held by various child protection authorities. And again, there's nothing unusual in that. That is exactly what would happen in other coronial investigations. That material was received in early July and provided to SAPOL who commenced reviewing the very large amount of material that existed. Some of that material required clarification and further uh, communication was had with the Department of Child Protection. And soon after, the investigators began reviewing that voluminous amount of material. They also obtained an interim opinion from a paediatric expert. So together with the information they'd gleaned in the investigation to date, they formed the view that sufficient grounds existed to commence a criminal investigation for an offence of criminal neglect causing death. The role of the investigators in this case will be obviously um, to review whether anybody is culpable criminally for the death of Mackay or is culpable for the neglect of other siblings as well as undertaking the coronial investigation which will go into in great detail the cause and circumstances of the death. This death is now being investigated and as part of Task Force Prime, which is being led by Major Crime Investigation Branch. I'll just start again. It's being investigated by Major Crime Investigation Branch. Essentially, a case of criminal neglect occurs when a person who has a duty of care to a child fails to take all reasonable steps to protect the child from harm, and the child dies or is harmed as a result of that neglect, and the neglect is so serious that it warrants a criminal sanction. The task force will also investigate, as I said, the suspected criminal neglect offences relating to five other siblings aged between 7 and 16, and that's an offence that carries a penalty of up to 15 years imprisonment. This task force will involve the full resources of Major Crime Investigation Branch, Coronial Investigation Section, and officers from Public Protection Branch, and also Northern Districts, and within that team will be people well versed in child protection and domestic violence matters. We've briefed the State Coroner on this investigation, I can say there are likely people within government and private agencies, or perhaps neighbours, 
and notwithstanding we haven't provided you the full name, there will be people who know who Mackay is and who we're talking about. Um, there may be neighbours, friends, acquaintances, people who have information. I'd encourage all of those people to contact Crime Stoppers on 1800 333 000 and to support the police in this investigation. I'm happy to take questions. This child obviously resided in the northern suburbs. Is yes. Can we say which suburb? Craigmore. What sort of state were they in when they got taken to hospital? Only, only Mackay got taken to hospital. He was very sick. Can you please spell Mackay? M-A-K-A-I. Those other siblings, have they been removed from their parents' care or Yes, they have, um, and their care is a matter for DCP and not us, so I won't speak about what's happened with them. Is this an entirely different family to Charlotte? Yes. And do you know if it involved the same case workers, both families? Not yet. Um, the material was only recently provided to us, and we got the paediatric um, expert opinion on the 28th. And so it was at the afternoon of the 28th that the investigation transitioned to Task Force Prime. So we're trying to get our head across a really large amount of material as quickly as we can. Are you aware of the official course of death? Um, there's an interim course of death, and I am, but I can't share that with you. Can I just get you to clarify again how many siblings were Clive? Five. Five. And what, what were their conditions? Um, this, this investigation is has some differences from Charlie's investigation. So there is neglect and abuse which we believe has occurred over a period of time and we're investigating that, but it doesn't have all of the same characteristics of Charlie's. But I won't go into that for operational reasons. Can you just outline the family situation? Is there a mother and father living at the home with the children? No, th at the time um, Charlie became unwell and went to hospital, the children were living with Dad. Charlie's sorry. Mackay, sorry. Sorry? Oh, Mackay, sorry, Mackay. Are you aware of what recent interactions the Mackay's family had with child protection and other agencies? Um, some of them, but there are there is an enormous amount of records, um, and we've only had a cursory look at those since we've got them. But seen sufficient to warrant launching a criminal investigation. Was it the mother's choice not to be living in the home with the children at the time? I won't go into that because that's that's a matter that was handled by DCP and I'm not going to try and speak for another agency. I'll confine my comments today just to the investigation and the role of police. Had it been some time that she had been at that family home? Uh, the father had been looking after them since about uh, November 2020. Are we able to say uh, where Mackay was hospitalised and how long he was there for? On the day he became very unwell and was taken by his dad, it was to Lyle McEwen. He was only there for a part of the day before he was um, transferred to Women and Children's. So can you explain why it wasn't sort of investigated sooner? You were saying <coughs> there was no initial cause for concern? No, it was investigated sooner, but as you would imagine, with any unexplained death, and really a child, you don't expect children to die, so it's treated as an unexplained death. The cause of death in itself wasn't enough to raise concern because it was a serious recognised health issues, but um, it meant that it becomes a coroner's investigation, so it was allocated as a coroner's investigation. Detectives uh, 10 days after that death requested all of the information so they could progress the investigation from the Department of Child Protection, and it wasn't until the start of July that information was made available to police. Malnutrition or dehydration a contributing factor at all? Uh, I'm not going to talk about the circumstances, but it's not exactly the same sorts of circumstances as exist in Charlie's death. How many government departments were involved with this family? Can you name those um, agencies or departments? I think you'll find that the, most of the agencies will be the same as those involved in Charlie's, but as to every agency that's had an involvement, some people have a brief involvement and then go out that will all become apparent as we progress. And can you tell us when the most recent involvement was before Mackay was taken to hospital? I can't as I stay here, stand here before you with accuracy, no, because there's so much material was I'd have it, to look. Was it the same office of um, the Department of Child Protection as was the case um, yes. in Charles, the same office? Okay. How concerning is that for um, well, I'm not going to pass judgment this early. Obviously, it's the start of the investigation. I don't want to preempt what the outcome of the investigation might be. And you know, you really 
we have to be fair um, in the way we go about it. Major crime is completely independent um, of all those other agencies and um, anybody whatsoever that's interacted with the family, um, we will be examining in detail all those interactions. From a policing perspective, how complex are these sorts of investigations, especially involving children? Well, there's, a, there's an enormous amount of work. Um, nobody wants to see children die. Um, every death needs to be fully investigated. This will have a, a very, very comprehensive investigation. It will be a wide-ranging investigation and it's going to take time to get to the bottom of exactly what happened, why it happened and whether it was preventable. Okay. This task force was obviously launched to look into Charlie's death. Now we've had a second child. Is this now a task force looking at <coughs> serious criminal neglect? Did you anticipate there would be more children? Do you anticipate more? Um, it does show one thing, that the coronial process does work. You know, um, Mackay's death has started off as an unexplained death, a child dying from a serious health issue. But as I say, we don't expect our children to die young. So a coronial investigation starts, it consults with the coroner's office, with the coronial investigation section, um, and um, experts in child protection. And as more and more information is gathered during the course of the investigation, um, it's, this one has become a criminal investigation, but sometimes they remain a coronial investigation because there's nothing untoward. Is anyone yet child... being criminally charged or question, has anyone been questioned? We have spoken to somebody in relation to Mackay's death. No charges have been laid yet? No. <coughs> Is this now a child neglect task force? Yes, it was, a, it was Task Force Prime was formed to investigate <coughs> child neglect in respect to the death of Charlie and what's happened is additional resources have been allocated and given that there are two deaths, although there are differences, there are similar similarities, so it just makes sense to investigate them at the same time because we're going to be going to the same agencies requesting similar information um, and um, Task Force Prime is a really good team of investigators with specialist skills that are ideally suited for this job. Is this cause to review any other child deaths? in hospital that may not present as concern? Um, the coronial process itself is very effective in South Australia and the coronial process that exists and has existed for a long time is really what's discovered this. So wherever there's a death and it's still subject to investigation, um, I would expect it would identify if there were other issues of neglect in other cases. Are you concerned that there might be, given that we've just seen two in such a short period of time, or is this just an outline? Yeah, like on the other side of the coin, we haven't had one for a long time. I mean, one is too many. And if we have any deaths of children in these sort of circumstances, there are a coronial investigation, and we'll look at all the cause and circumstance, anything that's preventable, the interactions from all the agencies involved, whether it be police, <coughs> child protection, education, nobody's immune. Um, from investigation in relation to their dealings um, with the children or the family. Is it a family member that you're questioning? Uh, I'm not going to talk about who we're questioning. Um, do you know how many times, you know, we know in Charlie's case that, um, you know, people who contacted the department, was it similar in this case that, you know, neighbours had spotted something going on? Or? Um, probably the best way for me to answer that is to say that we've we were provided with a very, very large amount of documentary evidence from child protection. How, how large was large? Hundreds of case notes? A lot. Thanks, everyone. All right, thank you. Thank you.